All right, so I'm gonna take you through a feeding and touch base, well, buddy, get out of there. Touch base with you, all right? Um, where I'm at after a couple weeks since my last video, I got a batch going right here. And if you haven't seen my video before, it's peat moss, shredded paper, sand, and wood ash, all right? It's all ready to go. And I'm gonna show you where my worms are at right now. Okay, so I'm gonna slide on over here. And let's have a peek here, all right? All right, I don't know if you can see these guys, but they seem to be, okay. Get out of there, Ollie. So there is quite a bit, and my dog is eating this worm food like you wouldn't believe. So right now, what I'm gonna do is go on the other side, because last time I did it on this side. Now, I'm going to create a trough, all right, right here. And there's quite a bit of worms here. You probably can't see them, but they're really small. So I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. And I'm gonna take this compost. Now, the food that I gave them from the Bukashi bin, now this was kind of extra fermented, all right? It was coming along quite nicely. Way further along than I've done in the past, all right? This was pretty soft. And white mold was starting to grow on it. And it was looking really good. So I want to see how these worms do with this, okay? Because before, you know, I didn't really let it get that far, all right? So now it'll be kind of interesting to see how they do with this. All right, so one other thing I'm kind of experimenting with, <laughs> get out of there, dude, is the pH level of my worm bin, okay? So I've been reading worms like it around six to eight on the pH scale, okay? Which makes sense, right? All plants and animals are kind of around the same. And I bought this cheapy uh, moisture, light, and pH meter, and I'm not expecting it to be terribly accurate, but you know what? A guesstimate would be nice and you're supposed to use distilled water dude dude <laughs> but I'm using reverse osmosis water and my water is around six and a half on the pH scale so it's slightly acidic okay because on the pH scale it uh, seven is neutral okay so it's kind of in the sweet spot and my water is around 6.5 but distilled water kind of hovers around 5.5 so I would probably get a different reading by a bit with distilled water do get out of here and let's have a look to see where we're at here all right so if i tilt this over here so i'm just around seven maybe a little bit more but i'll eat so it's right around seven so what i want to do is if i wanted to play with this a little bit okay say if it started to creep high around eight get out of there dude what would i do okay and would this meter actually be working? That's the key, right? So I'm getting seven, but what if that's inaccurate? Okay, now I'm gonna do a, a little test on some peat moss and wood ash. All right, so this peat moss mixed with reverse osmosis water. Yeah, you're supposed to use distilled, but um, reverse osmosis is pretty much the same. And let's check out Let's zoom in on this. Let's check out the pH, all right? So you can see right here, it's looking at uh, right around six, maybe just a little bit below six. So maybe 5.8. All right, let's do a quick test. And it's right around six right now in the peat moss. Now I wanna dump it in the wood ash. Now it should go up. And this only goes to eight, all right? So it's not a true, test but we'll see whether or not this is actually working the way it should be if it actually jumps if the needle jumps and buries at eight let's have a look here now let's see if you can see this as it goes in yeah she's buried still has some a 
acidic things about it, but I wanted to see if it buries. So it, it buries as far as it can go, it looks. So it's showing that it works somewhat. It isn't perfect. All right, so what are you gonna do if your pH meter is reading too low in the pH scale, okay? So that meaning that your soil is slightly acidic. Well, what you're gonna do is maybe add less peat moss and more wood ash. And what if your soil is too high in the pH scale, okay? You're gonna be adding less wood ash and more peat moss. All right, I just wanna take you on a little tour of the bins in this system, okay? So you start off with the bottom bin, okay? There's four bins so far that I have, all right? You can buy more bins and go all the way out here if you want. But so far, I have four, okay? So you start off on the first bin, okay? And then when you think you got enough castings and everything's used up and castings are maximized, you wanna lure the worms, okay? from the bottom bin, okay, to the next top bin, okay? And you keep on going in the cycle, okay? Because the worms will go where their food is, right? So you stop feeding the bin that you think you have all the castings and you wanna harvest the castings and then you feed the next bin and the worms will logically move to the next bin and they'll all be away from this bin. And right now, what I'm trying to do, obviously, is make this the bin they're going to be going into so they can create more castings in this bin and leaving this bin and this bin and this bin full of ready-to-use castings. So I'm going to take you through this and let you see how I'm doing with that. Now, it's not perfect. They're still living in the other bins, but let's have a look. Okay, so I'm getting some worm action still in this bin. All right. So it's not overly compact. It's actually a pretty good environment, but there's still worms living in it. So I'm going to let them be. All right. So let's have a look at the next level. All right. There's still worms in this level too right maybe they just haven't figured everything out or they're just happy with the bacteria and they're still working on it which is fine right and let's look at the very first bin i started off with i'm just gonna get in the way here so here is the last bin now there's still worms in here but these castings look really good, right? I don't know why these guys haven't moved up, but who knows? They're happy. I'm going to leave them in there. So maybe what's happening is the worms are feeding on the top level where it's possibly colder, all right? And they're migrating down afterwards where it's warmer. So maybe the next video should be about temperature. All right, take care.